Okay, I'm on page 181 in your textbook and we're getting on with co-interior angles and we're going to read the look, look through some examples, okay? So it says here, co-interior angles, you can see that shape there, they've just drawn the U the other directions. If lines are parallel, then the co-interior angles are supplementary. So what does supplementary mean? They add up to 180 degrees. So here's my diagram, okay? So can you see I've got AB is parallel to CD, right? And there's my transversal there. The transversal is cutting there, and they've named all the angles X, Y, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4. So if we're looking for the U on this side here, can you see they've drawn the U in blue? So it means that this angle plus this angle is going to be equals to 180 degrees because AB is parallel to CD. Okay, so you write down co-interior angles and look at the shape. There's the U shape there. Okay, so look at the next example here. So it's the same drawing there, but then there's another set of co-interior angles. Can you see on the other side there? Right, if we do it on the same diagram, this one and this one, these two are also co-interior. Can you see the U shape there? So we say X4 plus Y1 is 180 degrees because AB is parallel to CD. So yo, they've turned the diagram around now, okay? You've been seeing the parallel lines like that. Now we've got PQ is parallel to RS. Can you see that? So where's my transversal cutting? Now on either side of my transversal, can you see that there? They're going to draw U. So these two, if I add them up, x2 plus y4 i'm going to get 180 degrees and i have to write my reason and if i add these two on the other side if i add this x3 and y1 i can also say they are co-interior angles so what you need to concentrate on these theorems is learning the theorem so when you see the word co-interior angles you know that you're looking for parallel lines and then the ones that are inside the u they are called co-interior angles Okay, we are on page 182, and I'm going to just go through the example with you there. You can see it's saying, example number one is saying, calculate the value of x, okay? So can you see now, right? Can you spot the co-interior angles? Can you see the parallel lines? Which angles are going to be co-interior? Can you see the U shape there? In your mind, you can see you're drawing a, a U shape there, okay? So x plus 105 is equals to 180 degrees. My reason is co-interior angles, AB is parallel to CD. Therefore, X is equals to 75. They've skipped a step there where they've said X is equals to 180 minus 105 degrees, and that's how they got X is equals to 75 degrees. Now they got two sets of parallel lines here. Okay, so can you see, like the one we've done in the previous video? So we've got PQ is parallel to RS, and we've got AB is parallel to CD. So we're going to have a lot of co-interior angles. So they want us to find A, B, A, and B, right? A plus 68 is equals to 180 degrees. Can you see they are co-interior here? Because these lines are parallel, they become co-interior inside those parallel lines there, right? Can you see the U shape with the parallel lines? Okay, on either side of the U, there needs to be a parallel line. So A plus 68 is 180 degrees. They've written the reason, and then they've taken that over, they've minused it, and they found... 112 degrees. Now you've got A, but you can also say A plus B is equals to 180 degrees, co-interior this way, and now why? Where's the either side of the parallel lines? Okay, this is the parallel line, P, Q, and R, S. Can you see the, the parallel line is there and the parallel line is there, so we're going to form a U shape there, okay, and then A plus B is going to be equals to 180 degrees. So we've got co-interior angles, PQ is parallel to RS. Can you see the reasons are different? Because they are different. There's two sets of parallel lines. It's the same thing. If you want to turn the diagram around and look at your U, it's the same thing, right? So A plus B is equals to 180 degrees. We found A, so B is 180 minus 112, and B is equals to 68 degrees. So if you look through the examples, these two examples, this one is quite simple to do. This one, they've just turned it around. You have to look for the co-interior angles there. Now look at this. They've got two transversals cutting there. So you just need to look at the line and see where are my co-interior angles for this transversal. And I need to see where are my co-interior angles for that transversal there. This is the one that we did like that example there. So you can use that to complete this one here. So if you look at the question like this, 
look at it what's happening here there's your parallel lines okay so you need to figure out which ones are your co-interior angles there's the transversal cutting there okay that's the transversal cutting there so you can see if i'm drawing the u i'm going to draw it like that so i'm just going to help you here this one is going to be that one plus that one is going to become 180 degrees there's my u shape there I'm going to draw my U shape like that because this is my parallel line along my parallel line through the transversal and along my parallel line. That's how I draw my U. So along my parallel line, along my transversal, along my parallel line. That's how I find the angles inside that U. So this two angles plus that is going to be 180 degrees. Can you see this two parallel lines there? So how am I going to draw? Along my parallel line, going there and going there, I'm finding my U shape there. So this whole angle plus this whole angle here is going to be equals to 180 degrees. And then you're going to solve for X there. Okay.